Here's the latest from the Daily Wire. When Meta introduced its new social media site, Threads, to compete with Twitter, supporters dubbed it the Twitter killer. Now, Threads is on life support as usage of the new platform is plummeting. On Friday, the Wall Street Journal reported Threads' daily user engagement is around 13 million members. That's down nearly 70% from its July 7th peak. Furthermore, iOS and Android app users are spending on average just four minutes per day on Threads. For comparison, the report said Twitter's daily users hover around 200 million, with the average time spent on the app around 30 minutes per day. Um, which is uh, which is a whole lot in in internet, uh, you know, in internet time. That's a lot. Liberals had high hopes for Threads because, unlike Twitter under Chief Twit Elon Musk, the left felt confident that Facebook's new sister platform would censor certain information, chiefly any story or fact inconvenient to the Democrat media complex. Uh, so anyway, it's 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 failing, which is um, was was really guaranteed from the beginning. I mean, it was set in stone basically that this would fail, and uh, we knew that. Really, back on July 5th, when this happened. Watch. I don't think they thought of Twitter. But in that, I am being facetious. But I I say game, set, Matt Zuckerberg. Because he's really learned his lesson. He is really understands that it does matter. That you want to be committed to the community. And Facebook is is a very... uh, Instagram is a really terrific product. And Twitter is awful. And my kids were saying, like, why are you posting on Twitter? I said, well, it's free. I said, well, that's just great. The worst things in life are free. <laughs> Does that mean you're going to migrate? Are you going to move your content 100%. delivery to threads? Oh, I'll, I'll put some Twitter in just because I like be. I'm a masochist who doesn't mind being hated, but that's been the way of my of most of my life since fourth grade. As we know, when uh, when Jim Cramer gives you an endorsement, you're screwed. If Jim Cramer says that that uh, things are working out well and that it's going to go, it, you're you're in trouble. If Jim Cramer was your doctor, and uh, he sat you down in the office and said, uh, "Hey, test results came in, good news, you're fine, everything's fine," then you know you'll be you'll be dead by next week. So Threads was doomed from the start. Sadly, maybe entirely because of Jim Cramer, or maybe because there are other problems with it aside from Jim Cramer. Two big problems. One is that it's just not a compelling pitch. You know. Uh, you're making a social media site for people who think that Twitter is too conservative. So it's a site for like leftists. Oh, finally, finally, a social media site where people on the left can go and express themselves and not have to worry about conservatives uh, intruding. But that already describes literally every other social media site in existence. So leftists are not in dire need of a place to go where they can feel safe and conservatives will be censored again because they already have that on every single social media site that exists except for Twitter. Let me ask you something. What if there was someone out there who kept a log of every single thing you did every minute of the day? I think that'd be pretty creepy. We can all agree. Well, what if I told you that's exactly what happens every time you go online? Your internet provider is allowed to store logs of every website you've ever visited, and they can legally sell this data to anyone they want. That's why I use ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN reroutes your internet connection through their secure servers so your internet provider can't see or log what you do online. Now, you might be asking, Well, if I'm routing all my data through a VPN, then doesn't that just mean that the VPN can see what I'm doing and log my data instead? Well, many VPNs claim that they have a no logs policy, but they've been caught logging customer activity anyway. ExpressVPN servers, on the other hand, run through RAM. This uh, makes it impossible for their servers to store any data, including logs of any ExpressVPN customer at all. So don't wait. Use my link at expressvpn.com slash Matt Walsh Show to get three extra months free. That's expressvpn.com slash Matt Walsh Show. And second, the, um, you know, the conservative Twitter offshoots in the pre-Elon era didn't work either, um, even though they did have a market to serve, you would think. In theory, they had a market to serve. But they didn't work either because, um, and, and, well, they also didn't have a, a platform like Meta that's worth $700 billion behind them. So that was a disadvantage. But whether you have $700 billion or not, the point is that if you're making a version of Twitter, if you're making the fill-in-the-blank version of Twitter, um, it's going to fail because Twitter is already is already the best version of itself. It may not be perfect. You may not even like Twitter, but it's the best version of Twitter is Twitter. Um, so if you want to, and this is a problem that we know conservatives have had, not just with Twitter, but across the board in the culture. Is, 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 uh, and now we see it with the left too. But for a long time, this was mainly a problem you had on, on the right. Where people on the right were always trying to come up with the conservative version of this. Um, but you're not going to be able to do that because there's no innovation there, right? There's, there's, there's nothing actually new that will attract people. 
And especially when it comes to social media, there has to be some kind of innovation, something different about it that will make people want to use it. Uh, there's no innovation. There's no innovation with this. This was just, you know, pretty transparently a direct ripoff of Twitter and um, putting aside all the copyright problems there, potentially, uh, it, it also just, there's no market. We already have to come up with something new, which very few people these days uh, are, are doing. Thanks for checking out this video. If you'd like to listen to my full podcast on the go, you can check out The Matt Walsh Show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.